Under conditions of great secrecy, masked militants from the banned Basque group ETA lay out a few of their weapons for inspection by international verifiers. They are trying to build on ETA's commitment to abandon violence with a disarmament process. These images were handed exclusively to the BBC in London by an intermediary. The verifiers, Sri Lankan Ram Manikalingam and Ronnie Casrals, former guerrilla leader in South Africa's ANC, say these guns and explosives have been put beyond use. They call it a hugely important first step. ETA was formed over 50 years ago under Spain's dictator, General Franco, to fight for Basque independence. A huge bomb in Madrid in 1973 killed Spain's Prime Minister, Luis Carrero Blanco. His car was hurled more than 100 feet into the air. This killing the ensured the whole world block. took notice. ETA's bloody past left over 800 people dead. In 1959, ETA was founded trying to win Basque independence. Its full name means Basque Fatherland and Freedom. In 1980, ETA militants killed 118 people in Spain, its deadliest year. Murders and bombings continued, and in 2001, the European Union declared ETA a terrorist organisation, a significant victory for the Spanish government. Ten years later, this happened. ETA decidido el cese definitivo de su actividad armada. When ETA members made that commitment to abandon armed struggle, they had already been all but defeated by waves of arrests and the refusal of the government in Madrid to negotiate with them. Since then, the Spanish authorities have been forced to release some ETA prisoners by a ruling from the European Court of Human Rights, but hundreds more not covered by the ruling are still behind bars. The Northern Ireland peace talks have ended with an historic agreement. After the success of Northern Ireland's peace agreement, several key players offered mediation in the Basque country, including Gerry Adams. He welcomes today's development. The Sinn Féin party for some time have been working with our friends in the Basque country. I'm convinced that they're serious. I think this is another indication of that seriousness and of that commitment to peaceful and democratic ways of going uh, forward. So it's, uh, it's something to be very, very much welcomed and I hope we'll see a positive response from the Spanish government. So reaction to these pictures will be crucial. The verification team says ETA has now put some of its weapons beyond use, but does this amount to a political game-changer? James Robbins, BBC News.